Wadi Cab Jed here from Thailand Myland. A lot of people only look at my latest videos and don't look back on my older videos. So I've decided to put a few relevant ones on here again for anyone who might have missed them the first time around. This one is about a trip I took to Koh Samui, Krabi and Phuket in August of 2022 to show the pros and cons of living each town. This video is the final video in the series and part 3 of the pros and cons of living in Phuket. And it's about the cons or the bad things about living here on this beautiful island of Phuket. Kingdom of Thailand five years ago. Come and join me as I take you on a journey to discover the best that the land of smiles has to offer. My last two videos were on the pros of living in Phuket or the, the best reasons why it's a good idea to live in Phuket. Also I did the video on the properties for rent in the Phuket area. Today's video is the cons. And as I've said before, it won't be a long video because there's nothing really bad about living uh, here in uh, Phuket. Um, it all depends on your outlook on life and what you like to get out of life. But for me personally, there's only three things that uh, disappoint me about living in Phuket. And the good things far outweigh the bad. I think when you live in Thailand, you get a little bit spoilt. You expect everything to be perfect and spot on because it's such a, a beautiful country and so inexpensive to live here. So when things aren't so good, they tend to stand out. So because this is going to be such a short video, watch till the end because I'm going to put some images of some funny things that you might see when driving around Thailand. So here's my first reason for the things that I don't like about living in Phuket. Phuket is a lovely tropical island, but unlike Koh Samui, um, it's, you just drive across, it's got a causeway. So it doesn't really have that island feel about it. Another reason it doesn't have an island feel about it is it's more of a, a built up island. It's very busy. Unlike Koh Phangan, Koh Samui, Pipi, Koh Chang, Koh Lipi, which are your smaller tropical islands. Phuket is more urban, with more buildings and busier roads. So I suppose that's the, the first thing that I don't like about Phuket. It's very, very busy. I first came to live here uh, in 2017 and I was, thought I'd stay in Phuket all the time. I thought that's where I'd make my base and my home. But after about six months, I found that it was too busy for me. I'd prefer the quieter islands and the quieter life than Phuket had to offer. Reason number two for perhaps not wanting to live in Phuket might be that it's quite expensive to live here. Phuket's probably the second most expensive place to live in Thailand after Bangkok, the capital. The reason for that is it's a large tourist area and wherever you find tourists, prices will always go up. Also, it's probably the logistics of getting things to and from the island which uh, pushes the price up. And this is wherever you go, you go in shopping centers, supermarkets, you'll find that uh, things are a lot more expensive there. Uh, drinks, if you go out to bars, I find that it's more expensive than places like Koh Samui and Wahin. 
uh, but not excessively so. I'm not saying it's expensive like it is in Europe. You're still going to live here a lot cheaper than anywhere else in uh, most Western countries. But do be aware that it could be a little bit more than living in other places in Thailand, such as Chiang Rai or Chiang Mai or Khon Ken, rural towns. And it's definitely a little bit more expensive than in places like Koh Samui and Koh Phangan and Wahin. So that brings me to my third and last reason for the cons of living in Phuket. And that'll be, it's such a long way from the rest of Thailand. Now these are reasons that I dislike about living in Phuket, but it might not be the same for you. I love to travel, I love to go around Thailand. And everyone's different. If you like living in one place, then Phuket could still be a great place for you. Wahin is about a 550 kilometer drive, which will take you about nine hours from uh, Phuket. Bangkok is about a 12 hour drive, or about 850 kilometers away. If you want to sample the nightlife of Pattaya, you'll find that's about a 13 hour, a little over 13 hours drive, close to about a thousand kilometers away. You'll find Con Ken about a 17 hour drive away, around about 1300 kilometers. Udon Thani is around about a 21 hour drive or about 1400 kilometers. Chiang Rai is about a 21 hour drive, around about 1500 kilometers away, whereas Chiang Mai will be about or oh, maybe hour and a half, two hours more. There are some great towns close to Phuket. Koh Samui is only about a six hour drive from Phuket, including the two hour ferry across. Korlak is a place that a lot of the people who live in Phuket like to escape to because it's only about an hour and 50 minute drive from the center of Phuket. Krabi's only 160 kilometers away, about a two and a half hour drive, but you can also take the ferry across directly from Phuket to Krabi. And if you fancy getting out of Thailand for a little while, the Malaysian border is only about a seven and a half hour drive south, around about 450 kilometers to the border. So those are the cons of living in Phuket. And there's only three of them. And don't forget, these are only my ideas of things I don't like. Everyone is different. You know, you might think, no, oh, I'd love that. Phuket's a busy island. Or you might have lots of money and don't care how much it costs to live here. As they say, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So come and take a look for yourself before you decide where's the best place for you to live in Thailand. So as this is such a short video, here's some photos of some funny things and some funny signs you can see while traveling around Thailand.
life like I was before I moved to Thailand. You're sick of your own country that's getting more and more walked by the day and where your rights are being slowly taken away from you by your so-called government. Where the country that you were born and grew up in is deteriorating so much that you don't even recognise it as your own anymore. Maybe it's time to consider retiring or living overseas. If that's the case, take a look at my new book, The Retiring Thailand Handbook 2023. It's filled with everything that you need to know about living in the land of smiles. Or, if Thailand doesn't rock your boat, take a look at my book, The 10 Best Countries to Retire on Your Pension. Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Bali, Spain, Portugal, Costa Rica, Belize, and Panama. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.